Stocks on Wall Street surging for a third straight day Wednesday as of this afternoon. The Nasdaq at an all-time high. Well, our next guest says that this bull market is still intact. We're joined by Courtney Dominguez. She's a financial planner at Payne Capital Management. Welcome back, Courtney. So the market snapped back uh, pretty strongly mm -hmm. after uh, last week's volatility. Um, yeah. And uh, now it's up for three straight days. Is there, I'm starting to wonder, are investors too complacent? The coronavirus is still out there and growing. Yeah, I would not say they're too complacent. I think if anything, investors aren't necessarily bullish enough because what we saw over the last year is we saw some record inflows into bonds and money markets, which means people, despite the fact that the market's doing well, we are on a record bull run, are still so nervous and putting money into safety right now. And at the first sign of something to be nervous about, like the coronavirus, that only accelerated. So I would actually argue the economy's on really good footing. And the fact that people aren't euphoric and aren't throwing money into the stock markets means there's probably still more room to grow. Hmm. And what happens to the, the money, the, uh, the, the, the uh, muni funds? Sure enough, that really has yeah. been growing. Last year, too, uh, people have been pouring money in, the, in there, yeah. I guess partly because of the, the tax status as well. But do you see it parked there for now temporarily and going back into stocks, or is that going to be there uh, for the long run? Yeah, I would actually argue a lot of that money that has been pouring into bonds and pouring into money markets, at some point in time, you're going to see that come back into the stock markets because you're getting this fear of missing out, not just from retail investors, but also from institutions. At some point in time, they're going to want to pay partake in this long bull market. And when you see that go in, that's a whole nother catalyst that can bring the markets higher. All right, now, I mentioned the coronavirus earlier. It keeps mm -hmm. spreading. Yeah. Um, but you say this bull market is still intact. Very much so. so. You really got to look at the underlying data of how the economy is doing. We're still seeing unemployment at record lows. We're seeing saving rates really high. One thing I find fascinating also is manufacturing was probably the one sector of the economy that people were seeing these declines in. But even then, we saw a really surprising positive news there that is back in growth territory. And some of that, too, I think has to do, deal with the trade wars. And just the fact that we're getting some sort of optimism that things are moving along and now we're seeing new orders in manufacturing is just showing more the economy is on good footing right now. Hmm. Well, um but we've seen, for example, uh, GM idle production in China because of the mm -hmm. coronavirus. We've also seen uh, Starbucks close half their stores. Levi Strauss has uh, done yeah. the same. Uh, do you fear that it might have a, a negative economic impact on U.S. growth? Short term, you're going to see the markets jumping around as they are. But no, long term, I don't see any sort of effect from that. With any viruses in the past, it's A, always been short term. B, when you look at the U.S. economy, we are pretty insulated from the rest of the world. About 85% of our economy is domestic. Um, and some of these closures and things, they're pretty short-term events. It would take a really long time. Just to give you an idea, Starbucks would have to close their stores for about 17 years just to have about 0.1% of effect on our GDP. So it's, it's a pretty minimal effect when you actually look at things. Okay, so Courtney, bottom line, going back to what you said at the top, as you see it, mm -hmm. investors are not bullish enough. Correct. I would have to agree with that. And I think it's a, we're in a, a really good bull market. You're going to want to partake in that. Okay. Thank you, Courtney. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Our thanks to Courtney Dominguez of Payne Capital Management. I'm Fred Katayama, and this is Reuters.